Did you know the average margarita has over 500 calories? I'm Dr. Sanjay Jain, and we're at the Manhattan Cocktail Classic, and we're looking for the perfect skinny drink that doesn't pack on the pounds or skimp on the flavor. At our first stop, we find a gluten-free vodka. This is a vodka made from whey, so it is gluten-free and made in New Zealand with very, very pure water. And that's really what it takes to get a really excellent, well-balanced vodka. How long have you guys been in the market for? Uh, just a couple months now. What's your favorite cocktail or mixer with this uh, Vodka 6100? With oysters, with caviar, seafood. It's really good with seafood. We're making a couple different cocktails today, one with um, cucumber. It's more hydrating than, I believe, any other fruit or vegetable. Let's try both. All right. If vodka doesn't satisfy your palate, we found a vendor that uses a all-natural sweetener to remove unwanted calories from a wide range of cocktails, making the indulgence that much sweeter. The biggest problem with a lot of these cocktails is the, the syrup, the amount of sugar, the amount of calories. So it's really great to see that you guys have a product here that's very sensitive to the diabetic, to the, to the person who wants to really lower the sugar content. So it's great to see this. So what kind of drinks do you have here? We have a couple different ones. Uh, we have our Prohibition style punch here, which is made with rye whiskey, white tea, a little bit of lemon um, to add some acid and a little bit of balance, and then Trivia syrup. Love it. Excellent. What other drinks can you make with Trivia at home? So really, really easy. Any of the sour drinks, like for example, if you were to make a margarita. So you would use tequila with fresh lime juice and a little bit of Trivia instead of adding sour mix or simple syrup. Really, really easy. As we browse the cocktail class for a last skinny treat, we can't help but notice the skinny daiquiri made with Angostura rum. It's a lighter version of the traditional drink. Good. It's not at all what I expected from a daiquiri. It's not nearly as sweet. It's got uh, definitely some savory, even a little spice in it. So, yeah, it's, it's great when a bitters company makes a daiquiri. Cheers to a skinny summer. In Manhattan, I'm Dr. Jane.